Hi, George here. And let's talk about printing several different images on one sheet of paper. I have a few of that right here. There's your standard eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. We have two four by sixes and four two by threes over here. You could of course just come in here, make a new file at eight and a half by 11, and then take your image over here, copy it into this one, and then resize your pictures and do it that way. But there's a much, much easier way to do this. Right now I'm in the editor, as you can see here, this is also Photoshop Elements 2024. And go up here to the Create menu and come down here to Photo Prints. Just bring this up. Here we go, this has your local printer right there, just the standard print dialog box. This also has Picture Package and Contact Sheet. Both of these take you over into the organizer, so I could do this straight from the organizer, but no reason to open that up and then move into your image. We can just do it all here in one step. This also has the Fujifilm Prints and GIFs, which at the moment is not working. I have no idea why. So let's go up here to Picture Package. Click on that. This is going to bring in the Elements Organizer. Open that program up with this image already installed in the Print Dialog box. And there we go. Now I have both my images open over here. Here's the original and then here is the sample. I'm just going to remove the sample. So you have just the first image right there. Standard options up here, choose where you want to print this to. I'll just send it down here to my Canon printer. You can adjust your printer settings if you want to. Let's come down here, I'll change settings. I always recommend if you are doing a final print, go for the glossy photo paper. You get a much, much better result here. And I'll set this at high quality as well. That's on the rear tray on my printer, so that's okay. Paper size, this is going to be your standard 8.5 by 11 right there. Type of print is your picture package. We've already decided on that. Down here, picture layout. Now notice that this says two three by fives. I'm seeing one three by five on here. So come down a little further, it'll scroll right here, and fill page with first photo. Make sure that's checked and uncheck crop to fit. That way you see the whole image, I think it's cropped in. And fill page with first photo, that's what gives you the multiple images on the one page. We then can choose from all of these different layouts. There's two 4x6s, like that, they fit pretty well. Two 5x7, three 4x6, they're pretty tight though, I like having a bit more space around those. There's four 3x5s, so choose the one that you like. Here's our passport size, here's a 5x7 and two 3.5x5s. Here's the one that I did the example on right there, two 4x6 and four 2x3s. If you want to, you can put it in a frame, but I never actually do that on this kind of a printout. Choose how many copies you want to print, and then go ahead and click on print. Now, if you need to adjust any additional settings, you can do that right over here. Page setup brings in just the basic layout. Here's our paper size and the rear tray. We've already set that up, portrait or landscape. And then more options allows you to come in here and adjust for a specific printer and paper. I'll leave mine at the default, which is just same as source. Or I could use the default RGB, which is right down here. In most cases, this is not going to be noticeable on your final output. Once you're all ready, just go ahead, hit that print button, and you'll then have a nice set of pictures on one sheet of paper. Now you will have to cut this out, so make sure you have a nice sharp blade. I like using the X-Acto blades and a good ruler. I also like using a metal ruler so that you don't cut into the ruler when you're making your trim. Make sure you're working on a good cutting surface and not cutting right onto your desk. You can ruin your desk that way, so a nice cutting board is good for that or a cutting mat. This will cutting mats at most craft stores. And there you go, you have a nice set of prints and you save a lot of paper by putting multiple prints onto the same sheet. Now, if you wanna learn more about how to use Photoshop Elements, including all about using the organizer, which I rarely talk about here on my channel, then take a look at my complete training course for Photoshop Elements. I have different courses for different versions and you'll find all of those at my howtogurus.com website, including other training for other programs as well, not just Photoshop Elements. And if you want a great reference tool to have along with you when you are working on projects inside of Photoshop Elements, I've put together something which I call my HTG Photo Coach. It's a text-based reference tool. It allows you to type in what you're looking for and I'll put in a few hundred articles in there that will give you step-by-step -step instructions for just about everything inside of Photoshop Elements. And I'm updating and adding to that every single month. So it just gets better and better every single month. And I'll put a link for that right down there in the description. Don't forget to hit that like button. That does really help out my channel a lot. Gives me a bit more visibility here on YouTube so I can make more videos. If you haven't subscribed already, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you next time.